up everyone it's nick coming at you with episode three now i appreciate the support you guys have given so far and i'm just gonna go ahead and jump into this one real quick um and this is how it's usually gonna go for the rest of the episodes i'm just gonna jump right into it but two things first one if you haven't seen episode one and two click right here uh make sure you watch in chronological order other than that uh, subscribe if you haven't turn notifications on i drop a new episode of this series every monday wednesday friday 6 p.m eastern time sharp let's get right into the game guys resume game here we go press the button bam does it work no every time i press resume it just does that resume now there it is i already got dressed um last time we left off our mom called and we got work today to do we're going to kind of work our way into what we need to do there's the cleaning lady she's always been nice looks like there's some sirens going on outside <clears throat> someone's getting beat up now i the last time i played this game this was before the definitive edition came out we are playing the definitive definitive edition right now however one thing that apparently happened is that more stuff has been added to i believe three Three things, three missions have been added to the Definitive Edition. So <clears throat> I'm excited to check those out. Those will be new for me. Um, and I have forgotten most of what's happened because last time I, I played Mafia 1 a little while ago. And, uh, you know, it's good to refresh the memory. So let's see here. Let's get our... Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that wasn't even a question. Let's hit the town. Man. It's a nice looking, that's a nice looking car. It's nice, can we just, can we just, ooh. Can we just admire this real quick? I'm looking like a, a badass here. Okay, we gotta make our way over to this. Over to wherever we need to go. So, what's going on in my life while we're driving here? Um, right now, I'm actually applying for a bunch of internships uh, for, for summer, ooh, this car's hard to drive. It looks nice, but it's hard to drive. I'm applying for a lot of summer internships uh, currently, I'm trying to get into minor league baseball. I want to be the guy that's on the microphone, entertaining fans, working on marketing. And, uh, yeah, so I'm excited right now. we got to follow this cop. Hopefully he doesn't see us speeding behind him. You know, if I just pass the cop, he's not going to say nothing, right? Let me turn the limiter on real quick, just so I look cool. This game, you know, I think the first half, there's a lot of snow and a lot of ice, and your car can actually start drifting because of that, which, honestly... I like, even though it's a pain in the ass, I do enjoy the fact that it's real, it's realistic. I could get out of the car, I could open the trunk, the cars can run out of gas. As, as far as the city goes, 1945, it does a great job representing um, what that time period would look like. And now we're going to get to go really fast here on the highway. We're going to hit 100, look at this car! Ooh, no cops hopefully. We hit 120. This is gonna end horrifically. I gotta start slowing down. Okay. I'd rather play it safe. I'm not trying to die. Last uh, episode, we struggled a little bit. We stole a car. We made some money, but remember, we owe $2,000. And we need to get 2,000. See, that's what I'm talking about. I can start just drifting out because of the frozen roads and bridges. It's actually, believe it or not, it's harder to drive on the bridges in this game than it is. Like I'm telling you, the realism is unbeatable. If you go on YouTube, there's actually a lot of videos that talk about uh, how detailed this game is. Really good stuff, you should check it out. Just look up Mafia 2 details. I don't remember what it is that we're doing exactly, but all I know is that we're making some bank, so let's just go do that. I'm supposed to go up here. Looks like it. All right. Chief office. This looks like an important man. Homie's got the Playboy out. Oh, close the door. It's windy. What do you want? Uh, yeah, I'm looking for a Mr. Papolato. Oh, yeah? Why? My name is Vito Scaletta. My old man used to work for him, and I'm looking for a job, so I came here. Well, you're in the right spot, sonny boy. Federico Papayato at your service. You can call me Derek. 
I think I remember your dad. Good guy, but drank like a fish. What's he up to these days? He's dead. Oh, well, we all gotta go sometime. Right, Steve? What an Sure, Derek. Not even eating. So you need a job, man. Huh? Well, you're in luck. We just got a new shipment to unload. I'm looking Steve good for the job Steve will show you around. Now scram, my steak's getting cold. All right. Uh, follow me. Yeah, follow me. Ooh, okay, so... It says that there's an enemy down there. I don't... I don't know why. Anyone would be hostile right now. I'm just trying to get a job. Try and make some money. I'm trying to save my family, dog. I'm not trying to have any problems here. Something tells me we're not going to be in this job for too long. Load this pile of crates onto that truck. When you're done, you get ten bucks. If something gets lost or broken, you get nothing. Start now and don't take all day. Okay. Am I really just going to have to do this? Can I just... I believe this is when I start to realize this is not what I want to do. Load crate. I don't think I have to do all of them. I think I just do a couple and then a cutscene start. The doors open. Leave when you've had enough. Yeah, I'm out. That's all I needed to do. I'm not trying to stay for too long, buddy. Sorry. Hey, you done? Yeah, I'm done. And you can keep the ten bucks. When I said I needed a job, I didn't mean slave labor. Whatever. Damn. Get the fuck out of here, then. Don't show your face around here again. Yeah, don't worry. I can make a hundred times more working for Barbaro Incorporated. Wait, you said Barbaro? Joe Barbaro? Yeah, so what? Shit. Nobody who works with Joe would carry crates for ten bucks. What the hell are you doing? Come with me. His voice doesn't really match his face, if you know what I mean. Nobody that works for Joe Barbaro. Follow me. What? Okay. Let's see what's going on. What now? Well, this one don't like manual labor. What the fuck? Dude gets so Said he out. works with Joe Barbaro. Bullshit. Who want to load crates if he works with Joe? You'll have to explain this one to me, sonny boy. What's your story? Uh, well, my mother wanted me to come talk to you about an honest job, but I need some real money, so this ain't gonna cut it. <laughs> Them women, they're all the same. Right, Steve? Sure, Derek. She sure. doesn't want you hanging around Derek. with Joe, right? <laughs> my mother was the same way. Look what become of me. Union boss, I got the whole fucking waterfront under my thumb. So how's Joe? Pretty good, I guess. How'd you meet up with him? Oh, we go way back to the old neighborhood. I just come back from overseas and he's putting me up until I can get back on my feet. Listen, uh, you gotta understand, a person in my position has gotta be careful. Certainly. So you won't mind if I give Joe a call, right? Nah, go ahead. Now, where'd I put his number? Hey, here it is. Starting to get a little tense. He might not be home. That wouldn't be good. Hi, Joe. Hey, this is Derek. Listen, I got this guy here. Uh, what'd you say your name was? Vito. Vito. He's looking for a job. He says he's a friend of yours. A good friend. I just wanted to check with you first. Uh-huh. Sure. War hero and all that shit. All right, all right. Thanks, then. I'll talk to you later. Sorry, pal. I had to check you out. Joe says you just come back from Italy. You must be able to handle yourself. 
You want to make a little more money? I got just the thing. The guys here at the port are supposed to pay a monthly fee to the barber, but half of them never cough it up. I need someone to give them a little nudge. Ten bucks a man. What if they don't need a haircut? Well, then you'll have to convince them otherwise. Oh, we're going to kick some ass. What if somebody makes a fuss? Then you kick the shit out of them. Well, let's say you teach them a lesson that doesn't require that they miss work. You got it? Which is why Steve ain't doing the job. Right, Steve? Right, boss. Collect at least 150 bucks, I give you 50. Just for walking around, taking it into Sierra, meeting new people. Easy fucking money, huh? Sounds good to what me, do you dog. Say? Hey, it's better than lugging crates around. I'm down. So that's why there's enemies, because we're about to wreck some people's shit. I'm in. I'm in. Uh, first person. Oh my god, if you see Vito Skeletor running at you full head of steam, just, just pack it up, man. Homie! <clears throat> I collect the fee for the barber. Yeah, it looks like me. just coming to pay. Actually, he's pretty good barber. Thanks. Appreciate your cooperation. Okay! That ain't bad. Nice guy. Hey, we... pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Again? I don't even go to the damn barber. Here, you give it to the Robin son of a bitch. Next time, try to pay on time, okay? Thanks. Everyone's nice so far. What about you? Hey, Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. You've got the wrong guy, pal. My wife cuts my hair. Yeah, that's sweet. But while you work here, you get a haircut when Derek says. Yeah. Okay, okay, you're ah! not ready. <laughs> fucking money. Yeah, glad you decided to reconsider. Come on, dog. A shove. That's... Oh, okay. So this is where we start to get into an actual fight. Hey, pal. Derek needs you to pay the fee for the barber. Look, asshole. I'm not in the mood. Why don't you get out of my face before you get hurt? Ah, no can do, pal. Derek wants his money. Derek can kiss my ass. What's that fat fuck gonna do? Have me killed? Hey, you said it, not me. Why don't you give it a try then, asshole? Alright. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me dodge a little bit. Let me dodge. Let me get him when he's not... Okay, see? Boom, boom. There we go. That's good. That's good. Now wait for him to get up. So I can... Way too good at dodging. Way too good at dodging. I need to give him a light hit. There it is. There it is. Nice little combination. It's not easy to fight. That should be it, right? Can I... Come on, dog. Oh, his body folded like a lawn chair. Oh, my... Look at him! Look at him! Anybody else got a fucking problem with paying for the fucking barber? Isn't... Is his body... Uh, okay. All right. That 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 kick sent him into another dimension. I mean, that shit. I kicked him so hard he went past the speed of time, the speed of light. Close the door, man. Let's. That Here's was the, the money, boss. That man. was fast. Good job. Here's your share. I watched you take care of Bill. You were good. Yeah, Steve he's dead. damn near got his ass kicked when he tried that. Right, Steve? Uh, right, Derek. Here's a bonus for sorting him out. Thanks. Oh, thanks. The guy's been a real fucking pain. Now get out of here, kid. I gotta be getting back to business. I say hello to your mother for me. Tell her you got yourself a job as my new assistant. Yeah, will do. I'll see you later. Let's go! You know, I almost forgot. Joe called. He wants you should meet him at Freddy's. All right, we got to go meet our boy Vito at Freddy's. I'm in. I mean, I cannot believe that Anna, I, I kicked him so hard that the poor guy folded like a lawn chair and died on impact. Where else are you going to see that? Nowhere. This is another thing I'm talking about. I drove this way and the tire print is still there. Sorry, sir. That's the same guy. Took me. He was a nice guy. He was nice about the money. Gave it right to me. You know, I respect it. And he looked like me, so I'm all in. 
Let's hit the road. Can I just like cut through? Do I have to really go? <sighs> Fine. Do a nice little spin. Yep, fuck that stop sign. Um, let's take a right here, no cops in the area. I have yet to stop at a store. I don't think I need anything just yet. We will definitely be checking out a lot of the clothing stores later though and especially a lot of the weapon stores because I'm definitely gonna need to carry around a gun once you know I start doing dirty, dirty jobs. But now we're starting to make some money. We're starting to relax a little bit. We're starting to, starting to earn, our, earn our way back. I believe that we have two weeks to get the money back to our dude. So we can do that. We are just speeding through town. Oh, that cop almost saw me. I should, so far I, I haven't had uh, terrible luck with the police just yet. However, that could all change very fast. And if you guys haven't seen already, the, the entire Mafia trilogy is up right now on um, the Microsoft Store. You can get all three games for the price of one. And when I tell you guys that that offer is so worth it, I'm not, ooh, I'm not lying. I'm not trying to, you know, mess with you guys. I'm an honest person, pretty transparent with you guys. So, um, it, like I said, this game in the winter time and just in general, it's so immersive. I just, I feel like I'm living in this city. I feel like I'm a part of this city, and that's something that games today just cannot do. And yeah, tell me how you got in, in the comments. Tell me how you guys are liking this series so far. Tell me what you guys do when you're watching, uh, if you enjoy it improvements i'm always open to critiques i'm not going to be a guy that just does it my way because that's the way i like it i want i i like the feedback uh, if you guys want me to do something a different way i'm all ears so where i need to meet him at the shop that's right i thought marker if i had to go somewhere else hello officer don't mind my parked car right there in the middle of the street it's not mine i swear what's up joe where is he where is my man is he upstairs am i gonna have to go upstairs oh wait can i can i play music Probably not because of copyright, sadly. Oh, we're sitting up upstairs. I got the tie. It was a good day to choose hey, the suit and tie. Where the hell you been? I came right over as soon as you called. What's going on? You remember the wise guys we used to see when we was kids? Yeah, why? The guy we're meeting here is one of them. His name's Henry Tomasino. I think he's got something big for us. Yeah, no shit. Yeah. We're done with the small-time jobs. It's time to make some real shuttle. Here, he's coming. Don't say nothing stupid. Hey, Henry, how are you? How are you, Joe? This the guy? Yeah, this is Vito, an old friend of mine. Good to meet you, Henry. You vouch for him? Absolutely, Henry. Trust him with my life. Okay. You know what? Um, one thing I do want to say, just in life in general, get a friend like Joe. You know, you're going to have a lot of friends. A lot of them are going to backstab you. A lot of them aren't going to have your back. A lot of, A lot of them just, you know... They'll, they'll hit you up every once in a while. They don't really care about you. Get you a guy like Joe that cares. You know, if you have a friend that really truly has your back, keep that friend. Hey, keep listen, him close. I got a job for you. And even if they're not your main friend on the depth chart, you know what I mean? You got your best friend, whatever. Really look at that depth chart. Look at all your friends. Who really has your back the most? Take that person, put them up top. A little life money's lesson. good. I need gas stamps. They're worth the fortune now because of the gas shortage. Where can we get them? In the Office of Price Administration. Uh, that's a federal government agency. Isn't that a little risky? What? Too much for you? No, no, no. Just trying to think of how we can pull it off. Ah, it can't be that hard. The stamps are kept in the safe at night, but the keys are probably around here somewhere. You got somebody inside? Yeah, one of our guys. His sister works there. Can she help us out? Ask her yourself. Her name's Maria Agnello. Here's the address. Tell her I say you. All right, what about the safe? What if the keys aren't there? That's your problem. But what's the job pay? I'll give you 600 bucks for 10,000 gallons worth of stamps. Okay, we're in. No, no, I need Vito to do this alone. I got another job for you, Joe. So? What do you say, Vito? Yeah, sure. Hey, don't forget to take a piece with you. You never know what's gonna happen. Better to be safe than sorry. I gotta be... Wait, wait, wait. This isn't some liquor store stick-up. I want this to be a clean job. If you kill anybody, your cut drops to a third. Gabish? Yeah, I got it. No problem. Okay, when you're done, you come back in, we'll settle up. All right, I'll see Good you. Good luck, Vito. 
it's another thing in this game. They give you situations like that where they'll say, you know, if you kill someone, your cut gets dropped. And you actually can finish the mission without killing someone if you try really hard. My car's still parked out here. Um, but it's difficult. So, you know, we'll see how it goes. See if we can get any music. Empire Classic. Usually when I record gameplay, it automatically takes out the music if I play it in the car. However, I feel like these songs are so old that they should pass some of the copyright. I could be wrong, but I don't know. I just feel like the music is a big part of the game and a big reason why I enjoy it. So here we go. signs to find Maria's apartment. I got your picture. I'm coming with you, dear Maria. First guess. Look, okay, I didn't even look. Can I help you? Yeah, hello, ma'am. Uh, Henry Tomasino sent me. He said he might be able to help me with a little problem down at the Office of Rice Administration. Yeah, I heard about that. What do you need from me? Uh, I need to get in there tonight. All right, tell you what. My sister's in the hospital right now. If you give me a lift over there, I'll tell you everything you need to know. It's right across the street from the OPA, so it ain't like you're going to be going out of your way. Sure, no problem. Sounds good to me. Oh, and she was ready. Pro oh, no, 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 no. Oh, okay, I thought it was just opening someone's random door. Sounds like there's sirens going on. Someone just got arrested. I'm telling you, man, breathing city. You're not the only one with a life, so... Look at this guy, look at this buffoon right here, crossing the street, using the crosswalk, look at that. Where's Maria? Maria, we don't have time for this. Get in the car. All right, music's showing off just in case. Okay, Hello, sir, how you doing? Easy behind the wheel, all right? Oh, I'll take it easy behind the wheel, you ain't gotta worry about me. I'm about as easy as it gets. Let's all right, see. kid, it's gonna make the me place tired. is locked up pretty tight at night. So you gotta get into the back. They keep the back door open at night? No, but the basement window usually is, so that's how you can get in. How do you, you know that? the safe, right? Yeah, how'd you know? Lucky guess. It's on the top floor. So's the director's office. That's where the keys are. Okay. So I go in through a window around the back, then head upstairs to the director's office, right? Right. And be careful. Hop right There's behind me. in there at night. Don't let them see you. I need this cop to get off my tail so I can just start speeding. Hopefully he doesn't see me. Hey, Leadfoot, take it easy. My sister ain't going nowhere. All right, all right. I'm just trying to... Ooh. Empire General Hospital. Wow, that's one hell of a hospital. All right, kid. Drop me at the hospital right here. Drop you? The office is across the street. Okay. Okay, thanks for the ride, Let's kid. get it, baby. Thanks We're going to that office, office and we are going to get it done. Says the back window's always open, and we got to steal the stamps, get six hundred dollars. That's about a thousand dollars so far in the game. We already got down for the mob, so or not for the mob, but to pay off our dues. Okay, let's go ahead and park the car right here. Awesome. Let's get out and see where we need to go. No one. Are you a? Are you a guard? Hope not. Okay. Back door. Back window. She said. Try and be, try and be nice and easy with it. Climb over obstacle. Oh, I see. I see. I see where we're going. Or do I? Do I not see where we're going? Am I dumb? Where's the? Where's the wind? I mean, um, that's just on me. That's on me. I'm sorry. I'm trying. Long day. These guards are going to be here. Okay. I can't kill anybody. Um, oh, okay. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. 
Can we quiet it down a little bit, Vito? That was actually not too bad. Stay hidden there, guards around. Okay. Fido! What are we doing? Okay. It's not a door. It's not where I need to go. Okay, what am I looking for? Get the key from the director's office. Cool, but where's the guard? Okay, okay. Disable guards crouching behind them. Gonna go upstairs. She's gonna go upstairs. They didn't see me. They didn't see me. They almost saw me. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. I'm gonna take this guy out. Actually, I don't need to. 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 I can just go in. Okay. I can just go. This is the director's office. This is where the key should be. Okay, close the door. We're in. Don't have to worry. Take the key from the desk. All right, here's the key. Now I gotta get to the safe. I'm a little nervous. I'm a little nervous. I really don't want to kill anyone. I want to do the job right. He didn't see me. I hope. Is that, is this not where the safe is? And, oh no. I'm not where the safe, the safe is downstairs. Okay, that changes everything a little bit. Um... Sneak around here. Yeah, yeah. Okay, alright. Door, close the door. Good, good. This is exactly. Yes, let's use. Ah, oh, damn it. Okay, here we go. Boom. 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 One try. Let's open up the door. Get what we need to get. There's an alarm. There's an alarm. Is shit gonna hit the fan the moment I open this? No. Nah, damn it. All right, just need to get out. Just need to get out without killing anyone. Just need to get out without killing anyone. Just need to get out without killing anyone. Where did I come from? Where did I come from? Over here? Move, 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 move. Can I get out? Can I get out? Can I climb over? Okay. Let's just take our sweet time, Vito. It's not the most, one of the most important. Oh, can we jump? Can we jump? Can we? Okay. Okay, good. I heard a bit. Okay, run. Run, Vito. Climb over. Okay. We did not kill anybody. We have someone working at the inside. That was a high stress situation. Return to Freddy's bar. Okay, we didn't kill any. Saving. <sighs> oh, I got nervous. I'm not gonna lie. I was a little. Hopefully they don't see me. No one, no one saw me. Right? Where did I park my car? Not a great place to park the car. Not gonna lie. That's. Hey guys, how you doing? I saw. Crazy, I just saw some guy uh, try to take stuff away from that place. It's weird. It's not suspicious that I'm running in the middle of the road at all. I, I don't want to lockpick any cars. And I don't want any police to see me lockpicking cars. So I'm going to go around the way and get this taken care of. Whew! Nobody died. No one saw me. That ain't bad. That ain't, I feel like we did a good job there. I was sneaky, except I did leave the door open one time. Um, other than that, I did everything I had to do. Any parked cars, let's go ahead and do some lock picking here so we can get back to the bar. What a, I feel like this was a productive episode. This is one of the, like, the ball is starting to roll now. I need to hold to pick the lock. Here we go, here we go. Oh, cheap car, cheap car, cheap car. Easy, easy money, we're in. Let's get out of here. <sighs> I can relax. I can breathe. Move on. Oh no, this car drifts, doesn't it? 
We're gonna go back, get our cutscene, and that'll pretty much wrap the video up. Matt's about to do his live stream. If you haven't already, go check out Matt's live streams. He does them every Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Tonight, he's doing Pokemon. Usually one of his better streams of the week. And we're back at Freddy's. I don't even think I really needed to steal the car. But, uh, yeah. Let's go see what's up with our guy. I thought he said he had someone working on the inside. That was really fast. That was real fast. Still eating. Well, how'd you make out? Uh, things got out of hand. There's nothing I could do about it. We had an agreement. Remember? You only get a third of the money if there's any shooting. Uh, let's see what we got here. I didn't shoot anybody. Ah, oh, shit. Something wrong? You bet your ass there's something wrong. These stamps you took have an expiration date. And that date is tomorrow. So, uh, what exactly does that mean? It means they're gonna be fucking worthless. But wait. If you can get them to the gas station attendance by midnight, They'll be able to stamp them and redeem them. You better bring them to every gas station in town. They gotta get there by midnight or we're screwed. If you don't sell them in time, you get nothing. Wait a minute, that wasn't our deal. Oh, you didn't say this, anything about any expiration This level dates. is high stress. Well, shit happens, doesn't it? You have, you have literally Look, you a certain... Off, I, it's like a clock it, ticking me. down. You I gotta drive through the city to... The faster you unload them, the more money you get. Alright. I'm gonna end this episode here. We are going to, in the next one, go ahead and try and get these stamps out and take care of business. Hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Hope you guys have a wonderful Monday. And yeah, I hope you guys have enjoyed this series so far. I know I have. I've had a great time. Go ahead, click these links. Uh, go ahead and subscribe. Watch the rest of the playlist. And keep enjoying your winter break, guys. I know I am. So see you guys in the next episode.